Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to make these pants. These are very wide leg pants with pleats in the front and the back and very deep pockets. Um, I did use my, my pattern that I made in my previous tutorial. So if you have made your pattern, that's awesome. If you have not, please go and review that video and make your pattern and come back to this one. For those of you that have already made your pattern, let's go ahead and get started with how to make these pants. For today, these wide leg pants, you will need some pins tailor chalk, your pattern, a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter, um, a yardstick, and your fabric. So for my pants I'm using rayon chalice and I'm going to make some really wide leg, uh, wide leg flowy pants with this fabric. Um, I have made some flowy pants with the same fabric but a printed fabric and they came out great and they were very comfortable so today I'm going to be making these in two different colors as you can see I'd rather just get it all done at the same time so let's go ahead and get started so I have my pant pattern set up um, and what I did was I took a yardstick and I drew a straight line across the top of the fabric and I'll show you what we'll use that for in a minute um, and then I, I placed my pattern with the, the shortest edge on that line at, at the furthest end of the fabric. Um, I placed my pattern and I drew with my tailor chalk, chalk I drew a line uh, tracing the curve of the pants. So when I got to the thigh portion of the pattern, I did not um, contour in as my leg goes. I just continued it down all the way straight to the bottom of the fabric. And I did mark where my hip and my thigh are so that I can match them up with the front part of the pants. So once you've drawn your straight line across and you've drawn your straight line down the pants, what you want to do is you want to take your pattern and there's a line here I'm not sure if you guys can see it but there is a line up here that I drew with the yardstick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to move it to the furthest part of the fabric with the um, shortest part still touching that line so this is how you're going to match up this is how you're going to match up um, to make sure that just your pattern is following the same flow. Um, you don't want to shift this down because then your crotch is going to be a little bit lower. Although we are going to drop the crotch for these pants, um, you want to do it on purpose and not on accident. Um, so now what I want to do is, I'm going to move this back a little bit. And now what I want to do is I want to draw with seam allowance the other side of my pant so I'm just going to draw this down and I'm actually going to use a serger for these pants because they do fray and I just I don't I don't feel like using a regular sewing machine um so what I'm going to do is when I get to this crotch, I'm actually going to drop the crotch down here to give myself some extra room. What I found when I made my first pair of these pants is they fit me well, but in the crotch area, it was um, really tight. So I'm going to drop the crotch in these pants about an inch. So I'm just going to draw a line here and I'm going to drop the crotch down there like that so then at this point I'm just going to continue a straight line all the way down to the end of my pants I'm just going to take this line and draw it straight down okay so once you've drawn your lines um, your straight lines down you now want to connect the top part of the pattern so I am going to draw a straight line here 
just to connect the top and I, so I can know where to cut my pattern out. So once I've done that, I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to repeat these steps for the front part of the pattern and then I'll come back and show you how to fit the pants to this pattern. So now that we've cut our pant pattern out, I put my, um, my pant pattern on the bottom of the pattern I just cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pleat this so that this waistline is the same length as this waistline plus a little bit of seam allowance. So I am going to locate the middle of this pant pattern and put it on the dart like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over to make a pleat. And I want to fold it over just enough so that the end of your pattern is just sitting outside of this. So that will give you some seam allowance. So if you want a large seam allowance, this is about a half inch. Um, I'm going to do a little bit less of a seam allowance because I'm going to serge these pants um, because the fabric frays, as you can already see, it's fraying. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your extra material and fold it over for a pleat like that. And then you want to take it and pin it. And you want to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to pull this down like this so you can see. So what I want to do is leave some seam allowance. Fold it over. So I still have some left. So I want to fold it over some more. like that and then you want to pin it so now you have the pleat in the middle of your pant so now if you look at it you can see here that you have some seam allowance on both sides to sew it together and then your the pattern you just cut out is the same length as your waist pattern on your um, muslin pattern. So you want to do that with the other side of your pants. So just for so that I can give you some advice on some of the mistakes that I've made. Um, so you have two pant patterns, right? Front and back, left and right. So you want to make sure that you don't pleat it. So you don't want to you don't want to pleat it the same exact way. So you see how this the front or this is the back seam cuz this is the back pattern. The back seam is facing the same way. If you do that, then the pleat on this one will be inside out. So what you want to do because you'll have a left side and you'll have a right side. So you want to flip it because this is really how your pants are going to be. It should be one side this way, one side that way. You want to flip it and do the same exact thing you did with these pants, but on the other side of the other pants. You have two sides with pleating. So this pleat is over top of this one. Like that. And that pleat is over top that side. So now you've pleated the back. You want to do the same thing for the front. I am going to cut the front pattern out. And I'm going to come back and show you how I cut my um, 
pockets into these patterns so this is the back and i'm going to come back and show you how to cut the pockets into the front the front is the same process as the back except for cutting the pattern uh the pocket so i'm going to show you how to do that now okay so i have cut my front pant pattern um same way i did the back on one side i moved the pattern over here um, then I cut and then I drew a straight line where this top part of this pant is and moved it all the way over to the other side and matched it up and drew and cut everything out. So now on my front pant pattern, I've drawn a um, highlighted line here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Maybe I'll draw it in another color of where I want my pocket to be on these pants. So what I want to do is I want to match up. And for this, I'm going to use my rotor, rotary cutter, simply because I think it's just easier to do it that way. But you very well can use scissors. Um, what I want to do is I want to match my pants up here. And I want to cut, snip, where my pant line is, or the pocket line is. Then what I want to do is... I want to get a hip curve if you don't have a rotary cutter that's fine you can just take some chalk like this and draw your pocket line or what you can do is take your rotary cutter and put your um, styling stylist ruler styling ruler and just rotary cut around it like this so now I've cut my pockets like that so that is where your pocket will be so once you've cut your pocket what you want to do is you want to take a ruler and just kind of measure how long you want your actual pocket to be. Um, so I like my pockets to be pretty long. So I'm going to make my pockets about 8 inches deep. Um, so make my pockets about 8 inches deep. So I'm going to mark it here just so that I can be aware. And you also want to keep the piece you just cut out because you're going to use this to actually make your pocket. Um, so just keep that piece. Then you want to continue with the same thing you did before on the back pattern with, you want to put your pattern down. And then fold, fold your cutout pieces and pleat it just the same way you did to the back. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to cut out the pockets and we are going to cut out the waistband. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna take, and I'm gonna use the other color that I'm also sewing together so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, you're going to take the, the piece that you cut out from your front pant pattern where the pocket is going to be. You want to take that piece and you want to take your two waist patterns, um, waistband patterns. So first we'll start with the pocket. What you want to do is you want to place your pocket on your fabric and you want to take some chalk and you want to trace this curve the part where you cut the pocket out you want to trace that that line and then you want to make your hip curve that's on the side and connect that part so you're going to have just basically outline this piece so that's going to be the missing piece and then what you want to do is you want to then make the pocket that holds all of your stuff so as I said, I think I said before I wanted an 8 inch pocket and then I thought about it more and I don't want my pockets that long. So I made a 7 inch deep pocket. So this is about 7 inches. So I took a ruler and then from the edge of where that pocket is drawn, took a ruler 
and drew a line straight down and then on the other side I drew a line straight up and connected the end of your hip all the way to the end of your pocket and you want to connect your bottom pocket with the the two corners so draw a basically a rectangle and then a part of that ranked rectangle will be your your portion of your pants that you cut out so what's going to happen is one of the pieces of the pocket you're going to cut out um to match your pants and the other piece of the pocket the rectangle will be a straight rectangle uh, and I will show you how I do that in a second uh, before I cut it out I'm going to show you how I do the waistband so next what you want to do is you want to take your front waistband place the fold on the fold so this is folded twice so it's two sets so two sets of your front waistband and you need four sets of your back waistband I need to move this up a little bit like that um, so I'm gonna move it for the sake of this video it'll come out when I wash it All right, so what you want to do is place this on the fold like that. And you want to take your chalk it's on the fold and you want to outline it. So this is your front waistband like that. And then you want to do two of the back waistbands. So we're going to do two of them. All right, so I have now cut out my pockets, my front waistband, my two back waistbands that I will attach to the front. And now I'm going to show you how to adjust the pockets. So um, what you'll need is the two. So right now I have four layers of pockets because you need two pockets and each pocket has two pieces. So you need to take two of the pieces. and separate them and then next what you want to do is along that um, along that line that you drew that you cut out on your pants you want to cut this out of those pockets so take my rotary cutter you want to give yourself some seam allowance so I'll take it and cut it with some seam allowance so now you have your two pockets all right now that you have cut out your patterns you've cut out your pocket what you want to do is you want to take your front way your front um, pant pattern and you want to find the part where you cut the pocket out and what you want to do is you want to make sure your two pockets that you cut are facing opposite directions so you can see the pocket hole is on the left side here the pocket hole is on the right side here so you want to take the pocket hole that matches up with the pocket hole on your front pan it goes in the same direction so you can see that they go in the same direction you want to take this pocket piece the pocket that has the actual opening in it and you want to match it up with the front part of your front pan pattern so this will be the part that faces the outside you can see I have the dart here the dart is there um, you want to take your pocket piece and you want to match it up with the pocket um, hole that you cut out in your front pan pattern so you want to take it and pin it and then once you pin it what you want to do is you want to sew down your uh, seam allowance here uh, and you want to do that for both sides. So you want to pin it and sew it for the right and the left side of the front pant pattern. 
uh, and then I'll come back and show you what you do after that. So you can see here that I've sewn um, where my seam was for the pockets. So I sewed, I sewed on my front part of my pocket where your hand will go inside of your pocket. Sewed it to the front side of the pants. And then what you want to do next is you want to press it straight like this straight and then you want to fold it over and press it under so then this will become your pocket so then your hand will go in your pocket like that so again let's start over this is your pocket that's my iron sorry this is your pocket you sew where the seam is the front part the front part of your pocket to the front part of your front pant um, then you press it over and then you fold the pocket into the inside of your pants and then press it again so that you'll have a line here. I didn't do a good job with pressing this obviously but I can do it over once I sew it all together. Um, so then you press it like that and that will be your pocket. So next you want to turn your pants over. You want to do this for both sides of your front pant. So next, now this is this is the inside of your pocket. So what you want to do is you want to take the other part of your pocket. So it should be a, um, a rectangle with one portion of it a hip curve. So here you can see it's a rectangle and then I have this curve here. That the curve, the hip curve will go on the outside of the pocket so where your pocket where you sewed your pocket on your hips your hip curve goes over that so what you want to do is you want to pin your pockets together and then what you want to do is sew on the inside of your pants you want to sew all the way down the side the longest side you want to sew across the bottom of the pocket and you want to sew up the side to where um, this hip this hip part is. So you can even attach it to your pants. So you can make this into one whole piece. Um, and my suggestion when sewing your pockets is to make the opening a little bit smaller than what it what you cut out. So from trial and error, um, I noticed that once I put my pants on, the pocket starts to sag a little bit. So what I like to do is turn it over once you pin the pockets together. And then you want to pin your pocket to your pants. So for the side seam, I'm going to sew the pocket onto the pant on the side of the pocket and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away some of this area where this pocket is um, let me pin this until it's ready you could even sew if you I don't want to um, but it's your option to sew down this um, fold over piece that you just did. You can uh, make a, a line down here to keep this from folding back over. But I know that once all the pants, once the whole thing is put together, this is not going to be an issue. Um, but that is an option as well. So next, what I want to do is I want to take, instead of putting the pocket here, which is in line with where the pocket is, I'm going to take some of this pocket off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sew or serge and take this part of the pocket off on the front. So I'm going to pin this here. And then same thing for the top. this taut like this 
Again, the goal is not to have droopy pockets. Pull that taut. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to serge across the top. So I'm going to take all of this off. So it'll be one piece. So it'll go. I'm going to serge. Let's see, where is my ruler? I'm going to serge. And I'm going to take all of this off. And then I'm going to serge down the side where the pocket is. Serge down the side where the pocket is and take that little bit of the pocket off. And then I'm going to serge the pocket on the inside of the pants, if that makes sense. So to repeat the steps, what you want to do is you want to put your back part of your pocket on. You want to take some of your front pocket, the, the length of your front pocket in. So what you want to do is you want to pull your pocket taut and you want to pin it because once you put it on it'll fit like this and it won't droop um and then you want to remove any excess material from you making the pleats in the pants you want to serge down the sides of the pockets and the side of the pant where the pocket is so i'm going to do that and come back and show you what i did all right and we are back so i've sewn um well i serged the top part if you don't have a serger you can just cut it off and sew it together um, but I serged the top part to get rid of that extra fabric that I had where I pleated the pants. You can see the pleat is there. Um, here's the pocket. So that's the pocket and it's nice and tight. So when I put on my pants, the pockets won't like droop down. Again, I learned this <laughs> from the first and second time I made these pants. Um, turn it over and you can see this is your pocket, your nice deep deep pocket um there i sewed down the sides and then i sewed it to my hip curve just to make sure that the pocket stays attached to the pants so that is the front side of your pants and then there really isn't much that you need to do for the back side of your pants other than what you did at the front which is move remove the extra fabric if you have it where the pleating is. These pants don't have it, but I'm still going to serge them because I don't feel like um, keeping these pins in here while I sew the pants together. So I'm gonna serge the top of the pants across. Um, but for the sake of time, what I'm going to do is show you how to make your entire pants. So what you wanna do is you wanna find where your um, your 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 back seam is on your back side of your pants and you want to match it up with your front side of your pants so this is the the front part of your pants so this is the part that faces the outside of your body uh this part goes on the outside of your body. So what you want to do is you want to put your pants right side together to sew them together. So what you want to do is you want to take your front piece, and this is my inseam on the front part, and you want to match up the hip curve like this. And then pin it all the way down the sides and you want to pin it on the other side of your pant too. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew down both sides, the left and the right side of your pants. Your pant patterns have the front, the right side facing each other. Exactly the same as it is in the, um, my previous tutorial on how to make a pant pattern. You just pin your sides and then sew down your sides. And you do that for both pair of pants and I will come back and show you how to add or how to connect both legs of your pants. You have one inside out pant leg and you have one right side out pant leg. So I'm going to turn this to the right side. And what you want to do is you want to put the right side out pant leg inside of the inside out pant leg so i'm going to go ahead and do that put it on the inside 
and if you sewed your pants together right your pants should match so the front should be matching with the front and the back should be matching with the back so the, they're both facing the right side is facing each other so the side that goes outside that people see faces one another so here is your um, front and back seam so this is where your crotch area will be it's where your crotch area will be so if you match it up here you can see that this is your your this is your back seam so you can see that the two back seams are together the two darts are together or not the darts sorry the two pleats in the back are together you can see that there so I'm going to pin the top part of the pants together and then I'll pin it roughly around the middle about right here a little less than the middle and this is where you're going to be attaching your zipper so the this part is where you will attach to your zipper and then you're going to sew from this part all the way to the front so you want to match up your um, crotch area so your two seams here you want to match them up there then you want to match your front area so this is the front part of your pants you can see that matches perfectly pin them together and then what you want to do so this is the front part you want to sew you can see they're both in or one pant is inside of the other you want to sew down your front seam all the way to your back seam and you want to stop right in the middle because that's where you're going to attach your zipper so go ahead and sew that together and once you sew that together that's when you'll want to attach your waistband all right so just like in the um the pant tutorial that i did before this is your waistband these are your three pieces so this is your front waistband this piece will connect on your front waistband like that on the right side and this will connect on the left side and that'll make your whole waistband so what you want to do is you want, there are two pieces here so there are two pieces to the waistband before we folded this one on the fold and made the similar cut as these so this one is twice as long as these um so what you want to do is you want to sew across the inside of the curve of your waistband so you want to sew across the inside of this curve sew across the inside of this curve and sew across the inside of this curve once you do that you want to attach your pieces to your waistband so then these will be connected and you will flatten them out and connect your back piece to your front piece on the left side and the right side so you're going to sew across that line there same thing for the other side once you sew across the inside of the curve of your waistband you're going to attach it on the other side like that and it, it's all supposed to be going in the same direction so it's all supposed to be one big curve so if you sewed your waistband on together and the other part is curving down you sewed it on wrong it's all supposed to be one large curve so you want to do it for the um, left side as well so once you sew across the um, once you sew across the top of the curve then you'll open it open the back piece open the front piece and sew down the side seam to connect the front to the back so i've sewn my waistband it's the front piece that was on the fold and the two side pieces you can see here if i open it you can see i I sewed down the inside of the um, waistband and then I sewed the sides together as you can see there.
the two sides together. I pressed it flat like this, folded it over, and pressed it together. So now this is your waistband. Um, so I've sewn my pants together, as you can see. This is the front where the pockets are. You can see there's a pocket there. I've sewn it all the way down and all the way to the back where I want to put my zipper. So we can take the pants, the pant leg out. Looks like a lot of material, right? Wide leg pants are beautiful and comfortable. All right, so now you have your pants. You have your pocket here, pocket, your pleat, and your other pocket. So sew the pants together. And now what we want to do is we want to add our waistband. So what you want to do is you want to take your waistband, fold it in half, to find the middle of the front so make sure that it's even so make sure that your two side seams are matching in the same spot so now this is my front part of my waistband so this part is going to go on I'm just going to pin it here it's going to go on your front seam so this is your front seam here, this is what you just sewed together. And what you want to do is, you want to take your waistband and you want to put it on the outside of your pants. So put the waistband in the middle in your front seam here. And then you just want to pin. And then you just keep doing that around your pants. Place and pin. Place and pin. So remember I said in my welcome video I'm not going to cover up my mistakes for you guys. We'll work through them together. So if you can see, I did not, um, if I pin my waistband, right, my waistband is actually a lot shorter. I know this is my actual waist size. Um, it's a lot shorter than the actual pant on the waistline, right? So if we put them side by side, you can see that is, is, is shorter. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to take your pants. Now you have two options here. You can go back and replete. That's an option. But for me, I simply just want um, pants that fit me on my waistline and that kind of billow out, still flowy. So I am just honestly going to add another pleat in the pants so that the pant actually fits correctly. So right now, where is... My waistline is 35 inches and right now this is... Let's take a measurement. Let's take a measurement. This currently is, this, this thing is balled up. This thing is well past 35 inches. <laughs> so this is more like, 45 inches so what we want to do is just add pleats that's what I'm going to do it's all up to you on how you want to handle what your pants look like I am going to add a pleat here in the front so now there's three pleats and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side just make sure that it's even So do the same thing I did before where I folded it and found the middle. The Surprisingly, the pin marks are still in there. So I see where it is. 
and then I'll just go ahead and reattach this so this is the middle and I'll pin it like I told you guys before I am not going to sugarcoat or like pretend I'm perfect I make mistakes all the time so if you make us make a mistake adjust and keep on going thing I'll say when attaching your waistband when you're having a little bit uh, when you have stretchy fabric is to make sure that you're uh, kind of pulling taut not the waistband but the pant part portion you kind of want to stretch that out a little bit so that it fits right on your waist if that makes sense so you kind of want to you can see here that if I were to, I don't want my waist to be smaller than my actual waist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it taut so that it fits the bottom portion because the bottom portion of the waistband is a little bit bigger than the top portion. So what you want to do is pull it taut so that when you attach your waistband, it, there's like a natural flow from your pants to your waistband. Um, and you also want to pull it taut when you're sewing. Uh, to make sure that everything flows nicely. So here we go. Waistband is fitting nicely now. I've attached my waistband. I had to add um, an extra pleat in the front because my front patterns were a little bit bigger than um, my actual pattern, so my side seams for my waistband and my pants were not matching up. So I had to add a little extra pleat here in the front. You can see that's the little pleat there to make them match. Um, and then I just attached the waistband all the way around the pants, as you can see. And what you want to do is you want to sew where your pants meet your waistband again your waistband is placed on the outside the side of your pants that faces the world place your waistband on that side and pin it around the waist and then what you want to do is you want to sew where your pant meets your waistband all the way around and then that is how you attach your waistband to your pants you can see here the waistband is added you have your pockets here you have your pleats so now what you want to do is you want to add your zipper so first what I did was once I got my waistband on I tried my pants on to make sure that they fit the way that I wanted them to and they do um, and then I wanted to get my waistband to my exact waist measurement. So what I did is um, try the pants on and the opening is going to go in the back for me. So the zipper is going to be in the back for these particular pair of pants. So I tried it on and put it around my waist and then I held it where um, it fit my waist the way that I wanted it to. And then I pinned it. So you can see here I clearly lost some weight. <laughs> um, so you want to pin it at the top to um, make sure you know where your zipper is going to end so that's what I did here and what you want to do is you want to get your zipper and you want to press it flat so this is what uh, I have a normal this is a 20 inch invisible zipper um, so this is the right side of the zipper this is an invisible zipper uh, and you zip, unzip it here. So if you see the back part, right, the way that you put it in visible zipper is you're supposed to sew under the zipper here, if I can get it to flip. So here you can see there's is regular there, but if you flip it over, this is where you're, um, you are supposed to sew your zipper. So what you want to do is you want to um, press it flat like that so that's what I did with my red zipper you can see the difference between the two the zipper is pressed flat and again this is a 20 20 inch invisible zipper so it's pressed flat and what you want to do is take your pants I'll use a pink zipper to be to give an example since you can see it better you want to take the right side of your zipper, which is this flat side, the part where you don't see the actual nylon zipper, and you want to put it on the inside of your pants. So this side is going to go to the left side. So what you want to do is unzip it, right? 
and then flip it so that this left side of the zipper is facing your left side of your pants. So now you can see your nylon zipper part and what you want to do is you want to pin the zipper like this right so let's say I'm going to mark on here as well just to give an example of what I'm doing I am going to use the red zipper but for the sake of this video I want to make sure you guys understand what I'm saying and it's kind of hard to see red on red so I'm going to use this pink so as I said before what you want to do is you want to put the zipper inside the pant right so we know this side is going to go on this side. The left, the left side of the zipper is going to go on the left side of the pan. So what you want to do is unzip it, flip it, so that the left side of your zipper, now the right side since you flipped it over, is facing, the right side is facing the outside of your pan. So this is the right side facing the outside of your pants. And I have a little mark here on the zipper. So I'm going to make sure I put that right here at the top so now I can see that it's sitting right over the top of my pants like that and what I'm going to do granted you're supposed to press this flat so I didn't press this one but you want to do it like that sit your pants flat on a table like this just sit it flat and take your zipper and just kind of make it go towards your seam now i'm going to add some more uh, allowance to this seam so that the zipper can have more space um but what you want to do is you want to take the top of your zipper make sure that the pant the waistband is sitting right below your mark sit your pants flat on the table flatten your zipper and then hold it and then pin it all right so i'm going to pin it like this and just pin it down and then this is supposed to be flat like this so then what you're going to do is you're going to take a zipper foot on your sewing machine and sew all the way down up and down your zipper um, I'm sure there are many tutorials on how to uh, insert um, an invisible zipper I would suggest you look at that but this is my particular way on how to do it and basically you do the same thing you fold it back to the way it's supposed to be and now you know this side is going, the right side of the right pant leg. Where's my other side of my pants? Oh, here it is. So now you flip it. And you know the right side is supposed to go with the right side. So now what you want to do, the same thing, you want to flip this like that. And put your waistband same thing you did on the left side pin it sit your thing flat and then hold your zipper taut and pin it again same thing you did with the other side like this and then you're going to sew up and down your zipper. So then when you flip them the right side, the zipper will lay correctly. So you flip this like this. I can't really show you guys, but I'm going to go sew my zipper on and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. I have inserted my invisible zipper. So this is the back of the pants. Um... You can see here, this is where the zipper is located. Um, as I said before, you can see where the mark is. This is what I was talking about, that mark. You want to make sure the end of your pants start at that mark so that everything can match up all the way down your pants. You want to lay your fab fabric flat on a table. Don't stretch it. Don't do anything. Just lay it flat and lay the zipper flat on your fabric as I said before and then sew down the sides and everything should match up. Again if you don't know how to sew an invisible zipper there are videos and there's also um, if you get the invisible zippers in the box there's um, directions on the box on how to do it uh, but for the sake of the length of this video 
I did not walk you through how to do that. So now I'm going to go over the finishing touches that I do. So first, this is the zipper. If you can see the inside of it, the whole zipper is still there. So what I like to do on my zippers, here you can see I sewed back and forth. So just back and forth a lot of times. Um, at the end of the zipper, close to where it attaches to the pants. And what I do is I go in and I cut right below that. And that's how I end my zipper. Uh, for the top, what I do is I'll zip it down like this. And I will take a lighter. I'll cut my zipper where I have that mark. Close to the top of the pants. Right, so that it's like that. I'll take my lighter and I'll burn the edge of the zipper and press it down flat. So then you have the ending of the zipper. Zipper, And for extra, to make it extra sturdy so that the zipper won't fall off of the top, what you want to do is take some needle and thread, the same color as your zipper or your pants, um, and then you just thread right at the top and you just go through the first zipper part and then do that about four times So that there's something there to stop the zipper. So then once I do that, I am going to put a whole uh, knot in the back through. knot it real well so that you don't ever have to worry about this part coming coming off cut it and then you have your top part then you just cut all the extra thread and what I do like to do because this part will fray I like to burn the edge of the zipper as well here so that it doesn't fray and doesn't start sticking out of your pants. So burn that part and then there you have your zipper. You want to do that to both sides but for the sake of time you will have the end of your zipper like that. For your hem what you want to do is if you don't have a serger what you want to do is fold it once and then fold it twice hopefully you guys can see that so that it doesn't fray out of your pants so you fold it once fold it twice and then sew along the edge of that fold but if you do have a serger you can just serge the ends bend the end of your pants into the inside of the inside of your pants and then sew along the edge like I did um, and then you want to press it so that's what I did for both sides and then once you've done all of that your pants are ready to wear so I'm going to go try mine on and show you guys the finished product and there you have it this is the finished product hopefully yours looks something similar to this you have your very deep pockets, you have your pleats, you have everything you need, very comfortable, very breathy, it sounds like a cape a little bit, <laughs> very comfortable, you can breathe in the summertime, very light fabric, yet very sturdy, um, you see the front, you see the pockets, you can see the back here, don't have a wedgie, awesome, so you can see the back, 
the back has your zipper hopefully everything lined up correctly you have your pleats in the front you have your pockets I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you made some fabulous pants I hope you are excited to wear them just as I am excited to wear mine thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye